Hey y'all, it's me, I'm back. My name is Ashley. This is Royal Dominion Authority YouTube channel. Don't mind me, don't mind the way that I'm looking. I don't even care about all that. Listen y'all, I'm about to end my, my day. I'm about to, you know, prepare to get settled in. I'm about to wind down for the night, but I just had to come in my car and record a quick video, you all. So I believe it was in February or April. I made a post on Facebook and I said, April showers will bring May flowers. But last year I ended up um, speaking a word at church. I ended up ministering a word at church on last year about stepping out of your grave clothes. It's, it was about Lazarus in the book of John about how Jesus had called Lazarus to step out of his grave clothes. And he did. And um, the, the grave clothes that Lazarus was wrapped in, he began to unravel those clothes and shed off of that, that weight from those grave clothes. And he was able to live again. Like Jesus had brought Lazarus back to life. And that was basically about the word that I ministered on last year, right? And I remember at the end of ministering that word, I was telling the congregation how the winter of 2020, 21, not 2020, 21, but 2021 will look like spring right? Come on. Winter comes before spring, but spring comes before winter. And basically I was trying to explain how our winter season would look in 2021 and how our spring season would look in 2020, 2022 and how we would be reaping the harvest in the winter from our previous spring and how in our spring what we would be reaping the harvest from our previous winter if you all get it if you all follow me praise god so i i remember in february or april of 2022 i remember making a facebook post saying that your april showers will bring may flowers and basically i was saying how god was going to show up right how god was going to how you were able how you are able to see god's hand in your life you know when we think about showers we're thinking about the rain the storm the the the, the stormy weather the turbulence of life right and when we're thinking about flowers we're thinking about spring we're thinking about springing forth we're thinking about um um seed time basically your 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 flowers only grow when the seed in the ground was planted the correct way when the seed in the ground was watered the correct way when the seed in the ground is grown beautiful in the way that it should in its time and god is making everything beautiful in its time april showers will bring may, may flowers so i just wanted to come and show you all these flowers i didn't put them in any water because so they're they look a little dead they look a little frazzled but I, I i wanted to show you all these because i do live a prophetic life my life has always been prophetic a lot of people don't get me a lot of people think i'm crazy a lot of people think i'm too much i think i'm good because i already know what time it be right and so those flowers i was sitting at my desk being greedy, eating something at my work desk. And I heard the spirit of the Lord say, look down. And when I looked down, I seen my flowers sitting on my book and I'm like, oh my God. And when I seen my flowers, it immediately, God re immediately reminded me of the post that I made on Facebook. April flowers will be bring, April showers will bring May flowers, right? And God is reminding me to remind you all that even though you went through the turbulence, the wind and the rain and the stormy weather, uh, you know, it looked like a tornado that came and blew through your household that came and just swept your life away. You know, it just looks like you can't pick up the broken pieces, like the broken pieces looks like, you know what I'm saying? Like your life is just a wreck. It's just a living hell. But you got to believe that in the month of May, God is releasing suddenly. God is releasing his word. God is sending his word forth to bring life back to your life, right? Because when we think about flowers, come on, let's be honest. 
flowers have to spring forth they have to bloom and grow and blossom and that is why you're going through the turbulence the rocky winds and the waves and the storm and the dark clouds because god is about to produce something in you and through you that when you come out of this after this you're going to see why you had to go through the suffering through the beating through the shaking through the pressing through the wind and the rain and the waves because god is about to do something in your life come on and y'all oh jesus i got the chill bumps just now because i'm thinking about last week my niece the same niece who gave me these flowers today she came and gave me some some flowers last week from school they come over my house after school and when they knocked on the door for me to open let them in from school she handed me the flowers and i'm like thank you it, it just made me think about all what i put them through because i'm very stern with them i'm very firm with them i'm to let them know that i'm not your friend i'm your tt and i'm gonna lead you the right way i'm gonna correct you i'm gonna have fun with you and laugh with you but i'm not gonna play with you like that you know because they need to know what time it is and they love god and when she brought me the flowers the first time last week, I ain't think nothing of it. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. That's so nice. And I'm like, even though I be hard on them, my niece and my nephew, they thought about me and brought me flowers. Like, that's love, right? And God is bearing gifts in this season. So my niece came and did the same thing on today, you all, on today, Tuesday, the 24th. I think today, the 24th, right? God is saying hold on to his unchanging hand he's coming to bear gifts of love gifts of adornment gifts of adoration come on god adores you god adores you god adores you and god says let me envelop my love all upon you all around you all in you all through you G let me give you flowers will you accept the flowers that i have to give in this season because i'm bearing gifts your April showers will bring May flowers. Y'all receive this prophetic word. I hope y'all tracking with me. Come on, y'all. I hope y'all. I hope y'all tracking with me. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all don't even understand the magnitude of the way I feel about y'all, right? But God loves us more because he knows he knows what you're going through he knows your every need he knows your trial and your tribulations in your era but he's here to love you right on through that right i love y'all april flowers bring may april showers bring may flowers excuse me april showers bring may flowers believe in your flowers believe in the gifts that god is coming to give you mm. and it may not look like it may not come in the packaging that you're expecting it, but expect the unexpected, you all. Love you.